all businesses have issues. In fact, you could argue really that your success as a business is almost 100% correlated with your ability to effectively address the issues that arise. So today I wanna to talk about how to solve your biggest business issues forever. When I say forever, I don't mean you're never gonna have any issues in business, but I wanna give you a methodology that's gonna help you address issues as they arise and address them in a way that they're not gonna become recurring issues. In other words, you're gonna solve them once and for all time. All right, so the name of the EOS or Entrepreneurial Operating System tool that I wanna share with you right now is called the Issues Solving Track or IDS for short. And IDS stands for Identify, Discuss, and solve. And the issue solving track grew out of a discovery and observation that even the best leadership teams tend to really struggle when it comes to solving issues. And what we observed is that when leaders get in a room to tackle an issue together, what tends to happen is they tend to just discuss the heck out of it, but rarely will they ever identify anything like a real root cause of the issue. And rarely will they come up with a plan of attack that actually makes that issue go away forever. So the issue solving track was really just designed to help leadership teams stay on track as they're solving issues. So here's how it works. You have your list of issues, say, right here, okay. So first of all, as you're looking at an issues list, first thing you wanna do is just Prioritize. So you just want to identify the top three issues. Those are the things that are most pressing you got to solve uh, right away. And then you just get to work IDSing issue number one. So I identify means looking beyond what you've written here on your issues list, because that's most likely a symptom of the real root cause of the issues. So you got to go deep down in your organization to really uncover what's the root cause of the issue. And I'll give you a hint here. Most root causes are people issues. In other words, you got the wrong person for a role. Uh, accountability issues where it's not clear on who's accountable for a task or a relationship or a process issue where either you haven't clearly defined a process or you haven't properly trained someone uh, to execute a task. So those are the most common places to look. And of the three, a people issue is most likely the cause. And just a sidebar here, if you are the leader of an organization and you have ongoing people issues, in other words, you're not capable of making the tough decisions uh, to get the right people into roles, then you are the people issue. Anyway, I won't go down that rabbit hole right now, but. Once you have identified the real root cause of the issue, and frankly, that's like 75% of the job right there, then you move to briefly discuss the issue. And by briefly, I mean each person in the meeting speaks once and only once, or makes one point one time, multiple points, okay, that's fine. But basically, you want to avoid any politicking here. So you want to have a strong meeting leader who's willing to cut people off once the conversation becomes redundant and move to solve the issue. In order for an issue to be solved, typically two things need to happen. First of all, someone needs to make a decision. So the person who's responsible for this general area of the business, whether it be a departmental head or maybe the leader of the business, they need to make a final decision as to what's going to happen. Secondly, typically someone will also need to take an action based on that decision. So most people never get, most teams never get to the stage where they actually assign a task. So when you assign a task, you also want to note it, make note of it, put it on a to-do list or whatever, so you can come back to it, hold someone accountable for actually executing that. If you are able to do this consistently, identify the real root cause of the issue, limit the discussion so that it doesn't, you don't waste all your time um, being on redundant conversations, and then solve it by actually making a decision, assigning a task, 
you will achieve breakthroughs in your ability to address issues in your business, start to gain traction, and you'll start to uh, just feel like you're getting a grip on your business. So hopeful, I hope that was helpful today. And it's called the Issues Solving Track. It's just one of the many tools we use in the entrepreneurial operating system to help business owners and leadership teams get more of what they want from their business.